Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin a reading here. Um, if I don't know if everybody knows here, but um, we are going to have on July 5th, 2020, there is a full moon. It is called the Full Buck Moon. And uh, I am going to do a reading for the full moon for you for each one of the signs. So that being said, I do have a three card spread, which I'm going to explain to you as we go. Um, this once, just before we begin, I would like to say that this one here, this spread is for the sign of Aries. Um, this is for July 5th, 2020. Now, um, this of course is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take what feels good with you, what resonates with you, and leave the rest for the others. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the um, information on the different types of um, readings that I can do for you and how to go upon booking them. Also, if you do enjoy my channel, please do subscribe. It's um, your way of showing your support to my channel and it's pretty much the only way. So it makes me really happy to see when you do subscribe that you enjoy my content and so I thank you so very much. Um, so no further ado, let's begin this reading here. So uh, as I said, it's a three card spread. Okay, so uh, the first card here, which I'm going to uh, turn over right now. Okay, the first card here is what's I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you before beginning. Wait, I'll turn it back a second. There you go, you didn't see anything. <laughs> before I do begin, I would like you to take a moment and I would like you to um, think about a question that you would like to have an answer to. Whatever that question is, please do and try and find a somewhat precise uh, question that you would like to have an answer to. I'm going to leave you one little moment and then I'm going to go into the, um, into the reading. Okay, so let's begin. So the first card here, okay, is going to be uh, what's falling away and what do I need to forgive? The second card we're going to look at after is going to be what's the illuminated full moon showing me? And the third card here is going to be what comes next okay so that being said we're going to begin with the uh, very first card over here and here you go so the very first card don't let your past hold you back okay so this is all about the south node the south node like the north node is a karmic point okay but it's opposite to the north node and relates to the past perhaps even to the past lives. Now, whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about right now, um, there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something, perhaps? This card will often show up as a sign that the situation or relationship that you're asking for uh, or about is somewhat uh, somehow becoming uh, suffocating, even toxic, one might say. It suggests that someone, maybe even you, the querent, needs to, um, to be released, that there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. Um, so one thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer, okay? So this card here, what you must remember is um, releasing the past. You must release the past. Um, this is also your attraction to someone, maybe virgin on the obsessive, so be very, very careful. And uh, just because you can do something, doesn't mean that you should okay <laughs> so now we're going to go on to card number two I'm going to tell you once again card number two is what's the illuminated full moon showing me 
Okay, so this illuminated full moon here is showing you uh, what do you need to release. This is the wanting moon. Okay, so what is it that you need to release, you think? Let's see. This is the wanting moon. It points to what's falling away. Life goes in circles as we know and sometimes we need downtime or to let go now no matter when the moon cycle okay no matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card out it's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or for worse okay now and it's time for you to go easier it's the autumn and the winter of the cycle so what do you need to release Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you, uh, that you let something go and stop trying so hard. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm trying to tell you with this card here, okay, that it's safe to let go and to move on. Move forward with as little resistance as possible. And this is not time to start new projects. This is releasing emotional baggage and it's recommended right now. This is say sorry to somebody if necessary. This is a, do some energetic work such, a, such as meditation or yoga. And uh, soon you will see what lies ahead. Okay. And if we want to go see now the final card over here. So this is your card of what comes next. What comes next is show the world the real you. Okay, show the world the real you. So what comes next for you is this card brings a message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Okay, so you need to detach a little bit about it. Uh, someone might be keeping you at arm's length, but now it's no bad thing. Now, it's important for you to allow life to unfold, okay, and progress, even if change seems, you know, a frightening prospect. It's, it's scary for everybody. But if you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card here, okay, is reminding you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, are you being a too aloof perhaps or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Okay, so this is about being aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. This is do not lose the beauty and romance in life. Also, you're too much in your head. Use your heart. Get into your heart a little bit more. Um, and there's going to be a situation that's going to take a very unexpected turn soon. So this concludes the full moon reading for um, July 5th, 2020. I do hope that I was able with these messages to give you an answer to the question that you asked yourself. And let me remind you, I do not know what that question was. Um, please respond to me in the uh, comments if uh, this did um, answer your question. And uh, I wish you a wonderful day. Many, many blessings. Please do subscribe to my channel if you would like a private reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Much love, many blessings. See you soon.